so your life is going to be. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. On behalf of the pastor, I welcome each and every one to today's service. This is Glorious Chapel Worldwide. Exit. This is our headquarters. We meet here on Sunday from 1 to 4 p.m. If today is your first time of worshiping with this ministry, with this church, will you please identify yourself by being on your feet? Hallelujah. Amen. If today is your first day of visiting or worshiping with this church, will you please identify yourself by being your feet? You want to welcome this church. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My sister, you are welcome. Welcome, my sister. Welcome, my sister. Sister Fila, too. You are welcome. You are warmly welcome. Hallelujah. Amen. My dear, we are happy to see you. We would like you to tell us your name, where you reside in Germany here, and who invited you. Okay. My name is um, Mary Kelly. I'm from France. I came for a visit. Wow. Hallelujah. My sister Kelly, she resides in France, and she is here on visit. Feel at home, you are not a visitor, you are at your father's house. Feel at home and worship with us, and it will be a blessing to you. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We welcome God's voices as they minister to us in song. Let's welcome them with a clap of hands in God's performance.
We are all welcome into the house of the Lord. If you are happy to be in the house of God, just wait to the glory of God. If you are not dead and it's alive and you are happy to be alive, wait to the glory of that God that gave you life. Some are dead by now, but if you are sitting here, it's not by your righteousness, it's not by your prayer, it's not by your money, it's not by anything extraordinary, it is by the grace. Do I have a witness who is alive, who want to give God praise for what he has done for you? Do I have a witness in the house? Ah. It's only in cemetery you go, you hear, you don't hear noise. If you are a type who doesn't not like noise, I'm sorry. We are not dead, we are alive people. Is anybody alive here in the church? Oh my goodness, shut your neighbor and see if it's not dead. I've told this church before that in a church in America, they were so gentle. That during praises, somebody was dead and was sitting in the congregation, nobody noticed it. After the praises for 30 minutes, that they realized that the person that was being gentle and you think he doesn't want to dance, not knowing that he was dead. Please check your neighbor and see. You are a domestic by your own. You see a light, check the person, check the person. Don't look at the eyes. I said, check the person if he is breathing. Glory. Tell the person, thank God you are not there. And only with us and shout, do you believe that? This year, Nigeria is going to walk out. The moment Nigeria is playing and they are waiting, looking at their supporters, looking at the nation Nigeria, looking at where they are, you will see some sort of excitement in their face. And you will see that they are winning. But when they are losing, <laughs> when the super eagle become a dead eagle, and it's not flying, you look at their faces. Praise the Lord. How many of us believe that we are winning the battle? Oh my God, my God. I say, how many of us, according to your belief, let me bring up to you. I say, according to your faith, let me bring up to you. If you believe you are losing, you shall lose. But this will be you are winning. Somebody will say, oh, God. Hallelujah. Tell that neighbor, say, I am a winner. I believe in this prophecy and I believe in you saying something because what I say doesn't carry water in your life. But what you say determines what your life will be. Mm. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. That's why the Bible says the just shall live by his own word. Say it. Praise the Lord. I see something like the river coming upon your life and it gives me an indication that this is your year. The way you started the year, not in funeral, but coming to witness a child ceremony, tomorrow I decide. You are all going to go get a new. You are not here. 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 This is the day, this is the day that the Lord has 
Christ, you will rejoice and be glad. Are you glad? This is the day. Hallelujah. We will dance to the glory of God. Ha. Go to somebody, shut the door, shut the door, shut the Yes, Lord.
that she was pregnant. But the fact that some people didn't see that she was pregnant didn't mean that she was so pregnant. Yes. God has begun something in your life. Amen. I saw from seeing. It is not a matter of it. It's 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 not a matter of it. People that laugh at me say praise. Amen. Let them laugh at you. Amen. Let them talk about you. Amen. Let them give you names. Amen. One day, because of your own miracle, Amen. people will come together. They start not to gossip about you. They start not to insult you. They start not to call you names. But they start to lift hands and to lift voices and say, Father, we thank you for what you have done. Amen. And don't for somebody sometime. That same God who took it for you. The woman gave the seed in the first month and she saw some changes in her life. Sometimes some people whenever the changes begin they will begin to vomit. And the people that are sitting next to them will say, what is this? When we are eating, then you are vomiting. What are you doing? Anytime you carry it, see it, people don't understand you. But let them wait. When the night month is over, they will see why you were behaving the way you were doing. Sometimes when you see people from me, stop criticizing them. Don't talk about them. Because when God begins something, initially it's not nice. But at the end, the Bible says, you shall speak. When Jesus was conceived in the mother's womb, she was called all sorts of names. People come Mary and say, Mary, we never knew that you have a husband. How come Mary you are pregnant? And they were saying, you have fornicated. You are carrying a bastard. Oh my God. The Savior was in somebody's body. And because people don't understand, they were calling the Savior a bastard. Don't let don't what people say about you. What they say. Because what God has written about your life is written and it shall come to pass. The Bible says forever, O oh Lord, that word is settled and settled forever. Psalm 119 verse 89. That's what I'm preaching to you. Psalm 119 verse 89. The Bible says forever, O oh Lord. Amen. Some of you, the reason the enemy is attacking you is not because of anything. But it's because of what God has said about you. They want to change it. They want to destroy it. But the Bible says, who God has blessed, no one can bless. You may not like me, but God like me. You may not approve of me, but God has approved of me. And if God be for me, let them gather and speak their word. They shall not prosper. Whoever God is, God will provide. And God will protect. This year, may God protect. And for you. Yeah. Anytime you go into difficulty, when people are accusing you for sin, don't talk. Yes. Wait for the D day. Yeah. When the woman was in first month, people they didn't understand, and she was not able to eat well. When God is about to do something in your life, changes happen. Man, there are certain changes you are going through. Sometimes when you are going through that changes, you may lose certain things. Sometimes some of your money, you may lose it. You may not understand. Why am I losing everything? God is causing you to pass through changes. That's right. If you are not careful in those changes, you may say, it is too much. Let me abort the baby. Mm-hmm. And let me be free. Mm-hmm. The journey is too bad. Some of us, because of something we try and we fail, we are aborting our babies. There was some vision God gave you. You try the first one, you fail. You try the second time, you fail. Now you think you have lost you as a man and that you have given up. Don't give up on your vision. That is your destiny. That is your purpose. The fact that you have tried something and you fail, that's not make you a failure. But if you settle in it, you become a failure. And your children's children will never forgive you. We have started a new year. Whatever you try and you fail, try it. Amen. Somebody married you, he abused you, and now you are sitting there and say, As for me, marriage, I will never go into it again. You don't know the mind of God. Maybe God has prepared somebody for you because of what someone did. Don't write yourself off. Rely and depend on God. In due season, 
God will wipe away your tears. Yeah. So we did it in the night. Yeah. Joy to the morning. Yeah. You have been out for far too long. This year, God will put last in your heart. I speak as a prophet of God that this year, God will visit you and your business shall rise up again. Your marriage shall rise up again. Everything about your life shall be shaken and revolution. And you shall be shaken. What is written? It's written. The woman carried on. And when the nine months was up, listen, in all these times, when he visited the doctor, when he was in the fifth month, the fourth month, the doctor would never tell her, push. Because in your first month, when you push, it's abnormal. Yes. <clears throat> but they catch a time in your life that you visit them and they say today you are not going home. Your delivery hour has come. 2014, receive your delivery hour. Push. 